everybody. I'm back again with another vlog. And today I'm in the Flushing section of Queens, New York. And I'm in Northern Boulevard, which is a pretty big uh, highway in Queens. It goes all the way back there to Long Island City. And it goes forward to Long Island, Suffolk County, all that. So I've been at the other side. One time I drove around this side, but I'm going to go in the mission. I'm going to walk from here, Northern Boulevard. I don't know where. I'm going to try to see if I can make it to Bay side. It's probably going to be a long walk, but I think it'll be pretty interesting to see what this part looks like. Because I've been looking at the map and it looks like pretty cool. Like I see like the mixture of neighborhood, especially in Murray Hill. I've never been in that side, but I know there's like a lot of restaurants over there. Like a lot of Korean businesses, a little bit of everything. So I'm going to walk around. So join me. And then as I'm walking around here, I'm starting to like I'm starting to see some pretty interesting things here, like the architecture. And you got this church over here. Really beautiful, no? I'm not sure what type of church it is. And then there's like a hotel over there. And then a lot of apartment complex. This is a really cool area over here. A lot of, you know, really nice area. But this is just the beginning, so I'm gonna see what else can I find. As I'm walking forward, I like what I see. I see like a lot of developments mixed with the old buildings. Like over here to my left side, you see they're developing new buildings. And then you got like some markets over here. Like a lot of businesses. People walking around here. Pretty diverse area, but it's mostly like heavily Asian, but yeah. You see like a little bit of everything, you know. Like this is um like a whole different world, you know. Pretty different from Manhattan then. Or oh, they see like they're developing a tall building. So yeah. They got a it's a traditional you see all over the United States, uh 7-Eleven. That's with this residential building. And this is just the beginning, like I haven't walked pretty much. I uh, literally just getting off the borderline of flushing so walking a little fort gonna try to make it a Murray Hill and see what can I find there so now I'm entering the borderline of Murray Hill which is funny because in Manhattan they have Murray Hill too but now I know ahead of me I'm gonna see like a lot of businesses which I'm seeing already you can see how it's still residential but then ahead of me you're gonna start seeing like a lot of businesses so I'm excited to see what's going on ahead of me So far, pretty interesting, Murray Hill. And it's funny because uh, a lot of businesses, including the car wash, they have the sign written in, you know, in Chinese, and some of them have it written in Korean. But it's a pretty interesting place to walk around. You can see like there's businesses here, like coffee shops. And it says Korean building, so I assume this is like a Korean building with a lot of businesses. And then this is the highway. I think that's like a market. And yeah, these markets are pretty different from the ones that I see, you know, around the area. And then you look at like a regular, once you get off the main street on Northern Boulevard, you can see how the neighborhood turns residential with the houses. But yeah, this is called Hanyang Mart. So it's Korean too, because it has a sign written in Korean. I did the sign up for like green, you know, the green. And there's another Korean business over there. Like, I guess it's a restaurant or something, but it, look, it looks like it's closed. And a lot of traffic too, so I guess like it's like a little busy area. And I see more Korean business in front of me. So I guess this is like a mini Korea. So it's like a mystery thing, you know. I walk around here, some parts that kind of reminds me of Elmhurst, Queens. And then some other part kind of reminds me of Toronto, like around the North York area or Midtown by John Street. But it's funny how a lot of North American cities, you know, you go to some neighborhoods and they have like a lot of similarities. But yeah, this is Murray Hill, exiting Flushing Queens right here in Queens, you know, heading to a Long Island. So I noticed there's a lot of restaurants, a lot of businesses like over there across the street. You see Northern Grocery Store. Like a deli, 
and then this is a Korean restaurant and they got the outdoor dining but also they already open they already open indoor dining so I guess a lot of people they eat inside and this is I guess this is a coffee shop with bubble tea it's pretty cool and then here you can see a lot of Korean businesses Bonjour yeah, it feels like you're somewhere in Seoul or Busan, Korea. Got a chicken and all that. Like I say, indoor dining is open in New York City at 25% capacity. Another Korean business. So yeah. And then across the street you see like more businesses. Like everything, all the signs are written in Korea. I guess it's like a clinic or something. Or like a skincare center, you know, all together. It's it's funny because you know I always Google like this street, and I notice like this area, you know, with the sign. So I always wanted to come in and check it out for myself. Like I said, that's one good thing about exploring. One good thing about New York City, like you walk around and you see like a different mixture of neighborhoods throughout each block, and I think that's what makes the city beautiful. So. If you want to see, you know, like a mix of neighborhoods, the diversity, it's good that you get out of get out of the touristy areas like Manhattan or go places like Brooklyn or Queens, but mostly Queens. I don't know here, like I say, a lot of businesses continue. Most of them Koreans over there, and then you know you're in a Korean neighborhood when you see the H mark. We have one in Korea town in Midtown Manhattan. There's even a lot of food there. <laughs> and the outdoor dining, like I say, this mostly like the Asian neighborhoods that they got like the most creative outdoor dining. But yeah, I like walking around seeing the signs, you know, different than the regular thing. So I tell you the neighbor is pretty Korean. Everything, shops, restaurants even the dollar store behind me it has the signs in korean and you can see little by little how they developed the area so yeah ahead of me it looks like it was a movie theater but it looks like they're turning it into something else so the new age market and to my left side you see all the businesses and then also another funny thing is this neighborhood reminds me a little bit of the annex in toronto which I made a vlog there with a fellow YouTuber Matt from Matt Vegabox, he's based in Toronto so yeah I made a video with him so if you guys want to check it out we walked through the annex with that street over there by Blue Street and it had all the signs like written in Korea but then like I said they even got the, the law offices over there so this is much bigger than Korea Town in Manhattan and the outdoor dining I guess the food over here must taste better and then I think that might be the Long Island Railroad, which I'm, it's funny because I've never taken the Long Island Railroad. But I think one day for an adventure, I'll just take it. So far, I'm loving the area a lot. And it's funny because this is like going further, you know, like the 729 goes to Flushing, Queens, but that's not like the end of Queens because Queens is so big, it keeps going further. So like I'm walking full, I mean, yeah, I'm walking further. You see the businesses. There's just a lot like Toronto. And then there's a building that kind of resembles a lighthouse. I think I'm probably half way to my way to Bayside. So I'm gonna try to make it over there. I see a bus over there. It looks pretty different the color. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting neighborhood. Yeah, this building is like a restaurant, but I like the way how it looks. One size enterprise and then it looks like a lighthouse, right? Pretty cool. So I still got a little long way to go, but I can see how the neighborhood changes. I like this house here with a cross, I guess it's like a church or something like that. So it's more quiet over here, you know, they got like residential areas. So I know the, this over here is part of Queens, but I guess it's like a mix of suburb with residential area and it relies a lot on the Long Island Railroad. Pretty quiet too, like not too many people are walking around, just myself. Kind of makes you feel like you're not even in the city, like you're, I don't know, some other town or something. But that's why I like New York City, because, you know, every neighborhood is different from another one. 
And then over here, you can see how the street changes, you know, houses and stuff. And then you got the main street with all the restaurants. And here, yeah, still Korean and Chinese mixed together. This over here is Korean. So I guess for those who are a fan of Korean food, this neighborhood must be like a like a foodie heaven. And look how they have their outdoor dining set up. Like I told you, they're really creative how they set up their outdoor dining. Especially in the winter when it's cold. Even though surprisingly today, like technically it's cold, but it's not like the brutal cold. Like it feels, if you dress up, it feels actually nice because it's not windy. So I don't mind walking out here. So yeah, one thing I didn't film it because they passed so fast as but I know there's a bus over here. The colors are different. And it's because the Nassau County, which is part of Long Island, they pass around here too, you know. Some buses from New York City pass over here, but also the, the Long Island bus pass over here. But technically, you know, Queens, we're in Long Island in, in the land, so. But yeah, I noticed that. I thought that was pretty cool. So now I'm in the section of, I forgot, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Auburndale. So I can see over here how the neighborhood changes a little bit within diversity. Like over here you see the restaurants, like Spanish restaurants, El Pataron, Cafe Bench. There's a gyro shop over there. It smells pretty good. And here's like a little shopping center or a strip mall. Well actually there's still some Korean joints over here. It smells really good. Every time I blog, you know, I smell the food and I get hungry. <laughs> That's a New York City bus. But like I say, I saw two Long Island bus pass by. So yeah, yeah, that gyro world looks pretty good. They got burgers, pizza, Slovakia. Yeah, I think Queens is like the, the foodie heaven of New York City. I gotta tell you, it's a really beautiful day and I like, and now it starts getting darker a little bit late versus it was uh, like a month ago. And then here kind of resembles a little bit long on the city by Northern, by, where they got the mayor wall auto you know car dealership yeah they got a car dealership over here and then i'm about to pass another mayor highway 295 goes from north to south in queens it's crazy because a lot of my queens blocks i always cross the highway <laughs> but i don't mind you know i don't know I'm, i just have it's just a thing about walking the street and when you pass the top of the highway it's like a different feeling and here I am passing the highway. There's not too many traffic because it's Sunday. But I wonder how it looks like on a weekday. Pretty interesting, right? By the way, another interesting thing is I made it a Bayside. Finally, I'm in Bayside. You can see the Bayside Diner over there. Not too bad. The neighborhood looks pretty cool. But I've never been over here, you know, it's my first time, so I still haven't made it to the main street area where the Long Island Railroad is, but I'm gonna walk forward. So surprisingly here in Bayside, not too many changes either, you know. A lot of Asian restaurants over here too. Yeah, they probably got some good restaurants around here too. Like I say, this is my first time over here. I heard about it, but I never be, I never been here. So my first time in Bayside, walk all the way from Flushing down here. It's a good workout though. Not gonna complain about it. And the weather also is a big help. So I'm gonna make a turn to one of those streets over there. I think that might be like the main, like the main street. I want to see what's going on over there. Hey, that's the Long Island bus I was talking about. So this over here is Bell Boulevard, probably the main street of Bayside. You can see it goes up the hill, like a lot of businesses over here. And then, yeah, it keeps going forward and you can see like a lot of restaurants, a lot of stores, a lot of shops. So yeah, it looks pretty cool, you know. I can see the Long Island Railroad is over that way, so that's probably gonna be my first time riding it. I think that's probably the best way for me to get back to Manhattan, so. But yeah. They got a bank here, a flower shop. Not too bad. And then here you see the main road. 
I won't feel I forgot to say because it's Sunday. That's why a lot of businesses are closed. You know, you don't see too much activity. But I guess in a weekday and a good time, it must be packed over here. Not sure, but probably, you know, when kids go back to school and stuff, you know, it's safe. Also, they got a Colombian restaurant here, not bad. Yeah, I think that's going to be my next mission. Try to find some spot for me to eat. And then I'll just head back home. That's what I always do when I go to a neighborhood I've never been. I try to go like in a food hunt. <laughs> But yeah, so far I like the neighborhood, it's pretty cool. You know, here I make a turn and I like how this building looks like. Like with the shops in the bottom and then I guess that's the condominium. I don't know why, I just, I'm obsessed with that. Then look at the beautiful sky, you know. I think it's amazing. This is the Long Island Railroad. Over that way it goes to Manhattan, then the other way it goes to Long Island. It's so pretty cool, right? So being around here kind of reminds me a little bit of Jersey. But in New Jersey transit, like the stations like this. I can see like the little stops over there and then the township outside. Even though this is New York City, you know. But I'm just exploring. I'm studying a little bit of stations for when I go back to the city. I want to see where can I buy the tickets and everything. But yeah, it's good to learn, you know. Yeah, one more day. So, that was the end of my video, Bayside, Queens, walking all the way from Flushing to Bayside by Northern Boulevard. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be safe out there, stay tuned for more. God bless y'all, and peace.